So there was uh, Carl Levin is retired uh, senator. He's been a senator since 1840 in Michigan. <laughs> And uh, he voted. He was Tippe, big, tip, he tip was, canoe and Levin too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He was instrumental in the Reconstruction period in the <laughs> South. And anyway, so he's a Democrat. He's the uh, he survived the Teapot Dome scandal. He, he sure did. did. He did. Yeah. So he's in um, and the Astrodome scandal, which now that's a big. <laughs> he's, he really spanned a long time. So he's retiring. So they're having a special. They're having an election to replace him, and uh, the the. Democrat is having to, again, defend Obamacare in that race. And here's the commercial that the Republican is running in Michigan about Obamacare. My name is Julie Boonstra, and five years ago, I was diagnosed with leukemia. I found out that I only have a 20% chance of surviving. My insurance was canceled because of Obamacare. Now, the out-of-pocket costs are so high, it's unaffordable. If I do not receive my medication, I will die. <laughs> she might die from stupidity but first, right? <laughs> I think that's the only thing. She might die. I, I might die. Okay, so it was pointed out to her. Uh, by what, So they did a little checking. She and, doesn't, by the way, she doesn't have Lou Gehrig's disease. She has Lou Costello's disease. <laughs> <laughs> so she did. So she's totally wrong about that, right? So Obamacare... The Detroit Free Press did a little checking. Turns out, hey, you can get a plan uh, for less than what you're paying right now. It's a better plan. You can't be ever canceled. Blah blah blah. But this all everything's better. Lower out of pocket costs. They cap your out of pocket costs. You have a better plan waiting for you. So this these ads were so false, misleading, and just blatant. That's a blatant lie that the lawyers for the Democrat in Michigan sent letters to the TV stations saying, please stop running this <laughs> because this is so blatantly false. Could you please fact check so one commercial you run? Who, who said this? So the lawyers for the Democrat in Michigan who's running for Carl Levin's seat, whoever that is, I'm sure I have that name written down somewhere. <laughs> right? You do. Sure. Yes, you do have it written down somewhere. <laughs> okay. So... Um, I'm, uh... I'm uh, I'm str- I'm str- the internet is a little slow. Oh really? James. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can tell you who's running in Iowa. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so guess so they sent letters to the TV stations, and then this is so. Then what did the Republican do? They came out with another commercial, and here's that commercial. Here's the next commercial. When I heard that Congressman Peters was going after my credibility, it was devastating. I just want Congressman Peters to help me to listen to me instead he's trying to silence me he's trying to t- tell you to quit making stuff up and that they have a health care plan waiting for you you knucklehead yeah well the detroit free press has already helped you yes the yeah. Detroit, they, they did man my favorite thing is that that the detroit free press said you know this is the case and she said well, I don't believe. Well, that. here's what the here's what the Detroit. By the way, it's Gary, what, Gary Peters. Gary Peters is uh, running against. He's running against Terry Lynn. Terry Lynn. Terry Lynn, the Republican. Gary Peters is the Congre- uh, Democrat congressman running for Carl Levin's seat in Michigan. And so the Detroit Free Press did that investigation, and here it is. Here's here's her plan. Her plan is her old plan is eleven hundred dollars a month and thirteen thousand dollars a year and out of pocket. Her new plan is five hundred seventy one dollars a month and sixty eight hundred dollars a year out of pocket. Cheaper. Better and gives her better coverage. Fucking oh. Obama. Oh, thanks, Obama. I think actually the the sixty eight hundred dollars a year out of pocket is it's even less. I think. <clears throat> because, this according to the Detroit Free Press. Oh, yeah, gosh. no, I, I read an article yesterday that that's the federal uh, maximum, and the plan she qualified for is even better. Yeah, so she and it's like five thousand dollars out of pocket per year is the max. So they oh. tell her this. The Detroit newspaper tells her this. People tell her this. And uh, this is what she says. This is true. She said, it can't be true. I personally do not believe that. Mm. <laughs> well, okay, then. I've had this experience, by the way. I was on Facebook, and there's this young lady who used to be a waitress at a comedy club in Chicago, and she's very nice. And she's right, and she did something about, you know, remember they had those fake doctors come out wearing fake uh, white lab coats talking about how bad Obamacare was? I think the lab coats right. were actually lab coats. They were actual lab coats, yeah. yes. And uh, so she posted that video, and I said, you know, everything this woman's saying is wrong. And she's just lying about Obama. This is not, in fact, you know, this blah, blah. And she just wrote, uh, I don't, the girl who posted it, 
She wrote back, I don't care what you say. I'll never believe that Obamacare can help me. <laughs> well, then. Okay. You all said that. Yeah, I guess, I, we can wrap this conversation up then. All yeah. Right. <laughs> so um, that's what we're up against. So every time they come out with a new commercial, uh, Sean Hannity's got some so people. I guess, go I guess with this woman in Michigan, uh, the seven stages of die, uh, dying are denial, 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 <laughs> denial, denial. denial. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. You wouldn't think she'd deny the treatment, but you know, it turns out she does. But, you know, the original part of Obamacare was that it was going to bankrupt the government, right? Right. Right. There was government takeover. Takeover. Right? right. I mean, who in their right mind, what even moderately rational person thinks that the intent of Obamacare was not to get people who need coverage covered? Coverage. Right. I mean, it just defies line. There's no way it does this. Yeah. Like, th- th- that's the, the whole point. And by the way, if your plan did count you, the whole thing is... You can get another plan. That was I, that was tentacle one of the law. You can't be denied coverage. That's so, the whole point. So their tactic has changed completely. Yes. To, they've conceded that uh, it's not government takeover of uh, of health care. Now they're just making up lies about it. And specific, now they're just saying, no, no, what it's going to do is cost you health coverage. Yeah. Why would why would they inf- implement a plan? Well, See, but this plays into the narrative, Ben. The, the narrative is we're taking health care and we're taking money from Whitey. And we're giving it to Blackie. That's right. That's and true. And that's what that's they see. You don't get health care, but Blackie does. Blackie, who's in the inner city, not working. And in fact, uh, oh, I thought you were black and about poor John people Stamos. got kind of screwed more out of this because of the Medicare expansion. They wouldn't take it. And that really hurts the working yes. poor. Yes. So actually, uh, a lot of black people, a lot of poor people, white and of color, really came out on the rough end of this. Yes. More than a lot of the people that the Republican Party is catering to. That can't be true. I personally do not believe that.